Well, thank you so much, Jeannie, and thanks to each one of you for being here to show the world how strong and important the life movement really is. Let me tell you something. It's not just the grandparents, it's the grandkids who are here today. It is especially great to see so many young people here, these young faces in the crowd. You are leading this fight, and it is truly my privilege to stand with you because this is a fight worth having. Now, as Congressman Lipinski just said, he's an engineer. I'm the only chemical engineer in Congress. And if you want to have a debate on the science, I'm ready to have it. The science is clear. Life begins at conception. And because of that, every life must be valued. And every life must be protected. And it's been a great afternoon already. Today, we are grateful to have a pro-life president, President Donald J. Trump. <laughs> Under President Trump's leadership and your Republican-led United States Senate, we have delivered the strongest pro-life results in history. <laughs> Think about this for a moment. Just last Congress, this Republican-led Senate confirmed 85 conservative judges. Now, that includes a record-setting. Never before in the history of this country has a president in his first two years working with the Congress moved forward 30 new lifetime appointment circuit judges. We also confirmed 53 district court judges and two new Supreme Court justices. And the best news of all, you know, laws can change here and there. Guess what? These judges are lifetime appointments. We can thank God for that. But our work, our work doesn't stop here. And ladies and gentlemen, I have a very exciting announcement to share with you here today. I'm very proud to announce that I have founded the first ever pro-life caucus in the United States Senate. This pro-life caucus and our new expanded pro-life majority, thank God in November, we sent more pro-life senators to the United States Senate. And that's thanks to you that will allow us to accelerate the momentum of the past two years in protecting and defending life. And just this week, I was very grateful to see 48 of my U.S. Senate colleagues join me in sending a letter to President Trump urging him to stop any legislation coming out of the House that erodes pro-life protections. And as you just heard, he received that letter. And President Trump is standing with us and our pro-leaf colleagues in the House fighting back against Nancy Pelosi and her reckless pro-abortion war on children and her liberal agenda. We will continue to stand with President Trump in protecting our pro-life achievements. And most importantly, we'll be standing with all of you. This is a battle that by God's grace, by God's grace, we are winning, starting with the hearts and the minds of every American. And it is a battle that we must win. May God bless each one of you, and may God bless this great United States of America. Thank you.